Amy Lapson, the teacher librarian from Cassinus Oaks High School. And I just wanted to highlight some of our Black History Month activities and bulletin boards that we put together here in our joint use library. Um, this one highlights some of the Black authors that we have in our library. And we also pulled some quotes from those books. We're also trying to hit up different learning styles. So we realize not everyone's a reader. One of the activities that we also plan is a bookmark art contest where students can design a bookmark with a famous African-American and on the back put the important facts about that person. Hi, I'm Emily Nazimko and I am the teacher librarian for Elizabeth Pinkerton Middle School. And um, in our library, you can see our central display here is celebrating Black History Month. And as teachers and as librarians, we feel it's really important for this celebration to be front and center and books that highlight the history, the achievements, um, and the experiences of our students here on campus are important to be displayed. Um, as librarians, we see books as kind of these windows and mirrors, um, windows into experiences um, that we maybe ourselves don't understand fully, um, but we can read about them and learn about them, and mirrors for our students who really relate to the content and can see themselves in the books um, that we have presented here. So we have books that are highlighting Black history as well as literature by Black authors that really highlight um, this for our students so we can all grow and learn together. Black History Month is really important to me as it helps highlight Black achievements and it doesn't just focus on like the negatives of Blacks in history such as like racism and a lot of um, negative antidotes in um, our culture. It also allows um, for more students to get more knowledge of what's happening within the Blacks, um, like the Black community and I feel like it just shows Black excellence in total. One of our favorite quotes that we put up comes from Amanda Gorman's book, The Hill We Climb. So I'm gonna finish up with that. And yes, we are far from polished, far from pristine, but this doesn't mean we're striving to form a union that is perfect. We are striving to forge our union with purpose to compose a country committed to all cultures, colors, characters, and conditions of man. And so we lift our gazes not to what stands between us, but what stands before us.